Hello everybody, my name is Jad, welcome to another MLB 9 Innings 22 video, and in today's video we've got a lot of random packs to go through from the event, the returning player event, and a lot of skill changes to go through. We have the sale for the premium skill changes, like the um, that package where you buy another 5 when you bought the whole packages from the previous week, so now we have... 10 premium skill change tickets to go through this week, and uh, we got a, a team select prime pack, we've got a league select prime pack, we've got an ultimate all-star pack, we've got a lot of things to go through today, so let's get into it, and let's get started first things first with the daily pack. So, last week I waxed to poetic, I was thinking to myself, like, who am I going to go for on a team select prime pack, because... I don't need any other Yankees. I have every Yankee Prime already. There's no need for me to use that on a Yankee team. So my options are either hold it forever or just use it on a, on a random team. I was thinking about using it on Texas because I wanted Mike Napoli. I looked at the I looked at the lineups. Like I only have a one in three chance of playing Mike Napoli, but there is a Prime that I've won forever, and I'm pretty sure I don't have him. So I wanted to just double check. I've always wanted a Ryan Howard, but I've never had a Ryan Howard. Um, I, I couldn't get him because he was gone for the longest time. He finally came back. I haven't pulled him yet. I also don't think I have an Aaron Nola Prime. So if I... I don't think I have an Aaron Nola. He would be like right here next to Ranger Suarez. So I'm pretty sure I don't have him. So I'm going to pull my, my old Team Select Prime on that. And we're going to hope for Ryan Howard because that's like a, been a mythical card forever. Like Ever since this game came out... Ever since I started playing, he's basically been like, I could never get him. And then finally he came back, and I still can't get him. So, you know, I just, I might as well. I'll, I'm going to save Bassett here for uh, an all-star combo. I believe you have two all-star cards now. Let's see. Um, um, uh, I don't, how do I... I know I have another backup. I think I have... I, I think I've got myself a um, Jose Ramirez card in there somewhere. I just don't know. So Team Select Prime Pack, I'm going to go Phillies because I want that Ryan Howard. Either way, I'm getting a Prime I don't have. Um, so hopefully it's the Ryan Howard, but I don't really care if it's not. So, I mean, I have, like I said, I have every Yankee Prime, and this guarantees me a new Prime either way. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I love when it works out. Ryan Howard! A card that I have wanted forever, and I finally have him. Unfortunately, I'm still way too late for the Joey Bats card I've always wanted. Also, way too late for the Carlos Beltran card I always wanted, the Mets Prime, but oh well. We will um, hopefully find one of those eventually. Let's take an AL Prime player, because whatever. I mean, I don't really know. Maybe it'll be Mike Napoli with a chance. Jared Weaver. I believe I already have Jared Weaver. Um, pretty sure I've already got him. I think I got him a couple of videos ago. Man, that's Severino. I, I'm actually curious. I wonder if it's time for a club craft. I think we still have one more week. Um, but I, I just want to double check that as soon as I find my Jared Weaver. I love all the primes I have. That looks so cool. Yeah, I do have Jared Weaver already. No big deal. We'll just save him for a prime combo. I will see what I do next week, and then we'll see what we get. Um, let's go check real quick if we have... A club craft sig available, and on, if that's the case, then I will. Two days, okay. So we'll we'll do that next week. Uh, let's go diamond vintage pack. We're gonna go through all these right off the bat because I want to pull them. I saw someone get a legend earlier, and I'm I'm I really want that. Please, I'm begging you, diamond legend. No, okay. Well, still haven't seen one of those legends from that pack. So I want to talk to you guys in the meantime about my changes to my team. So last week I, I talked about how I wanted to put Posada in the lineup. I wanted to move Gary to DH. Edgar Martinez is now my leadoff batter with Pioneer. Somebody in the comments section and also somebody in Discord, and I, I posted this on Twitter for anybody who doesn't follow me on Twitter. Um, Mantle's second set, because I'm a fool, the RBI machine I'm clicking on right here actually goes to three. So I will be using greens and blues on him at some point as soon as possible. But for right now, I do not have any greens and blues left over. I'm not keeping Dylan Batances' skill set, so he will be getting the PSCTs for this week. And I think that my next uh I think that my next options in terms of PSCTs for today are going to be going towards my bullpen. I mean, um, my next Black Diamond upgrade will be my bullpen pieces. So last week I ran 
Uh, I ran Posada with so that way Posa, uh, Paxton would have stab bonus. Worked extremely well. He, Paxton was by far and away my best pitcher. He had like a 1.2 ERA. He had over 37 wins. He was like 37 and 8 to finish the week, which was honestly insanity. So clearly that worked well. Posada did bat better than Giancarlo did. So I don't know. Giancarlo just not getting that BIU bonus is really not good. Um, so all in all, it worked extremely well. I'm very happy with the results. I'm going to keep it this way for now. Edgar Martinez was one of my best batters in leadoff. He really helped me bring my team together. So we're going to run this again this week, and we're going to see how I get with Edgar with a full week because last week he started like a couple days in because like I only got him in at the end of Monday and not the beginning of Monday. So like I missed out like two ranked refreshes. I missed out on that first rank refresh where you get, like, 30 home runs on everybody. Like, right now, my rank refresh, I have 27 home runs on some of my, my guys because of the first rank refresh. So I missed out on that on Edgar. And he still finished with, like, the fourth most home runs on my team. So I'm excited to see where he goes this week. I'm expecting good things out of him. And we'll see where he goes from there. But like I said, I need to really get my bullpen to Black Diamond. If anything was my... My my the thing that held me back last week was my bullpen. I think both of my bullpen pieces, Miller and 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 Britain, both had about fifteen plus losses each. So they both basically were worth about thirty losses in total. So they were coming in at the tie games and giving up the lead. Where I wish that they would have just held the lead, but uh, we'll see what I can do with them. Um. I mean, even Miller was stabbed. I think uh, half the problem was also the fact they were both in down condition. Britain is still in down condition. But we'll see what happens with him. I mean, that's just my theory. I want to get them done next. I think that my offense is finally in a position where it's halfway decent. um, The way it is right now. But I think that I seriously need to consider getting them black diamonds and then getting them legend skills as soon as possible. Because they are... Definitely going to be a factor going forwards in my team. So that's my plan moving forwards. So they're probably going to get the next two Black Diamond upgrades. And hopefully I can finally get some skills on Batances that actually have good enough levels. Um, I want to get a level 3 skill as the last skill minimum. Uh, level 2s are not going to cut it. But honestly the highest, if I can get triple threes, that would be pretty sick as well. But um, just minimum I want level 3 on the bottom skill. Um, in order to use greens and blues on him, because level 2 skills are just, you might as well not even bother with them at that point. So, that's where I'm going with that, and hopefully we can pull another prime from all these packs today. I don't need to know, I need to spend the stars. I have the stars now to spend on these things, and I'm just like, not doing it, and I'm being really picky with how I spend my stars now. Okay, so let's see. Uh, do I have any... How many golds did I pull from that? Not many. That Not many. I saw somebody post it that there's um, the Andrew Heaney card for the Yankees deck. Funny enough, is actually... Has an LA, LA Dodgers. Wow, that sucks. I pulled the only gold on the thing. I want to see this real quickly. Because I want to see... Um, I want to see where... I want to see this picture. It's pretty funny. Thank you very much. All right, let's go. Oh, there's a collection. Hi, Gary. How you doing? All right, he's in the normal section. There it is. <laughs> it looks so funny. Now I kind of want that card. I want that card uh, really badly now because that's pretty cool. Whenever you have errors like that where they have the wrong hat on, hopefully they don't fix it, but I really want that card now. I don't think I have an Andrew Heaney card from last year. I'm pretty sure I got rid of all of them. As soon as I realized he wasn't going to get, get a SIG... I'm pretty sure I just threw them all out because I'm like, yeah, this is not worth my time to save material because at that point I had so many issues with terms of, like, lineups. <laughs> I didn't have any room on my bench to save them, so I said, ask for it, I'll just get rid of them. Kyle Crick, come on, baby, give me a gold so I can do this combo. Thank you. Of course, now it's going to give me the Ross Tripling because I need the gold. Okay, now it actually worked out for once. We actually did it. We saved it. Normal combination. I have been pulling so many golds today. Give me that Seve 21. Give me that Luis Severino 21. Nice. Not quite what I wanted, but eh, whatever. Baggers can't be choosers. All right. So that's my plan moving forward. 
I think that so far it's been a fantastic idea finally getting Posada in as my catcher. Um, it really, to me, shows you the massive bonus that Stab has. I mean, I knew Stab was pretty solid, but it just shows me that like the difference between going a negative record and going thirty-eight and seven or thirty-eight and ten. I didn't see the exact number he finished with, but just considering the fact that it was that much of a difference, just having a like a one hundred five versus a one ten field catcher, honestly incredible. So, uh, if anybody out there wants to know how good stab bonus is, that's how good stab is. There's a reason why I consider it to be such a good skill. Jose Trevino, 2022. That's my guy right there. That, that's why I really like having Stab as a third. It's a very, very good skill, especially when tied with uh, Finesse or with a Black Diamond skill. Very good, very good. All right, so I need to go clear a little bit more roster space so that way I can open up my team selects because we are not allowed to pull... We're not allowed to pull them 10 at a time, and I don't feel like stopping and starting again. I got a diamond from an ult. Unbelievable. It's a POTM, too. The new POTMs, I believe, yeah, they have higher bonuses now, which is actually pretty cool. Actually gives it a little bit of a bonus. Also, when when you play teams in your schedule that have POTM bonuses, uh, it's nasty now. It's pretty nuts. Like when you when you play live teams in league mode with POTMs, they just shred me. They they are such good cards. Like good lord, it is insanity. I don't know if that makes the POTM cards that good for you and me personally. I mean, like they seem like not the best cards, but they seem a little bit better. I just don't know if they're good enough yet. I just I don't know if that's finally reached that tipping point. I don't know. This is the first POTM I've had since uh, a long time. I feel like it's been a very long time since I've had one. Okay, or just <laughs> don't give me any diamonds. Ah, yes, thank you. I was listening. Finally. I feel like we just haven't been getting any luck with the diamonds today. I'll take a gold. I'll take a gold upgrade off of a silver any day of the week. Thank you very much. Do I have, uh, I have a couple golds, yes. I'll take a diamond from the end here. Take that Tapia. Hmm. Give me the Rizzo just for the heck of it. Nope. Live Cuckle with like a 7 ERA right now, I'm pretty sure. Jeff McNeil, 22. Having a fantastic season, Mr. Jeff McNeil. Give me the Jeff McNeil. No, nope. Even when I compliment the game, it still just says no thank you. Even when I say nice things about players, it still doesn't give me them. I'll take the Chapman. Anytime I get a free Yankee. Nice. Free Chapman. I'm pretty sure. Let me just check his skills. I mean, mine has okay skills, but just, you yeah, know, free Chapman. Nah, not the worst. Not not his good year, but I'll take it anyway. I will gladly take a free Chapman. Come on. I need this to be Travis Hafner. I'm amazed that he is still in the game. I guess they must have his rights because he retired a long time ago. That's a Cleveland uh, Prime that's actually extremely good. I've seen those Black Diamond Travis Hafner cards, and they are nuts. Like, the Prime bonuses on those cards are just honestly disgusting. David Phelps, also surprised that he is still in the league, honestly. Just goes to show you that everyone needs relief pitching. If you can pitch and be an innings eater, you have a job in the majors. Like, you don't have to be a great pitcher. Just be an average pitcher, and I am guarantee you that you'll have a career in the majors. <laughs> just be average. You don't have to be good. Just don't be, like, you know, putting up 70 RAs. But just have the ability to eat innings, and, you know, you've got a job. It's like the old saying goes, you know, if you're a lefty, you always have a job in the majors. Well... Kind of the same, kind of the same stroke. G. Rochella having a fantastic season with the Twins. Last I heard, he's been pretty solid. I think he actually had the go-ahead hit today in the game for the Twins. Very excited. I don't know how Clint Frazier is doing with the Cubs. Although last I heard, he was hurt again. I don't remember. Haven't been seeing him play, so I don't think it. Uh, Dick Blyer. Dick Blyer is amazing for the fact he doesn't strike anybody out, but gets like a million ground balls. Ground ball specialist. Chad Green. Tommy John surgery. Shane. Um, honestly, it sucks. Uh, we've had a couple of Tommy Johns all of a sudden pop up. Him, Luis Heel. 
Um, maybe that means next year we won't have his card and be able to pull his card, which would be pretty nice for our decks. It still sucks to lose him, though. Um, it sucks even worse for him because that means that he is going to miss out on his free agency. I'm pretty sure he was a free agent at the end of this year. He was finally going to reach free agency. And uh, I, I feel bad for him. Like, I mean, when you're going to hit the open market and your value just falls off the table because you're hurt, your ERA climbs, and then finally you your, um, your UCL snaps. So hopefully he comes back soon. It'd be pretty cool if they gave him a little contract just to kind of give him some financial stability until he comes back. Let me go uh, combine these cards real quick, open up the ults, and then we'll go right to the PSCTs, and then we'll be on our way. And then next week, uh, guys, I want you to look out so that way we can do our... our con Where am I going here? I'm, not, I'm in the wrong menu. I'm, like, losing my mind. Next week, we'll be doing the Team Select... Uh, we'll do the Clubcraft Diamond. So that'd be pretty cool. I would have a SIG pack, but I, 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 I missed one pick em. I tried to avoid picking between uh, Guns and Absurd because I'm like, this could go either way. Not with Guns and Absurd. It was Guns and Wohi. I picked Wohi up until the Guns matchup, and then I picked um, the other matchup between Absurd and um, MCATs, and I picked wrong because I was like, look, I have respect for both of these teams, and I feel like it could go either way. I didn't expect Guns to sweep them, <laughs> honestly. Like, Guns' team is nuts, and then obviously once Guns swept Wohi, that was pretty much the... That was the championship right there. So I did get the two premium skill change tickets, but I did not get the SIG pack from it, which is unfortunate. You know, that's just my fault. I probably should have believed in my club mate. But like I said, I thought that those were the, probably the two best teams left in the tournament, and I just wanted to avoid that potential train wreck. And as it turns out, it uh, didn't matter. Didn't matter at all. So um, it was a shame, but uh, I only have myself to blame. And uh, I'm just really happy to get the premium skill change tickets. I didn't really need the SIG pack to be happy. I'm very happy with the skill changes. That's what I really wanted the most. So um, all in all, pretty successful. I'm very happy that a TBD member won. Um, you know, God tier. His team is crazy. So uh, hopefully we'll see how it goes next power ranking tournament. I'm pretty sure there will be not many changes. Much like I said when the when the power ranking tournament was announced, I'm like, okay, whoever wins this is gonna have like nothing to use this sig change on. And it turns out I was right. He had nothing to use the sig change on. He got it and was like, well, I guess I use it on a Kike Hernandez because I got nothing else. And I'm like, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> He's got nothing to use it on. So he used it on the bench piece because he had nothing else to use it on. I'm like, yeah, that's about right. Like you're giving sig changes to people who don't need sig changes. That's pretty much what's happening. You're giving them to people who don't need them. So I just thought that was funny. I'm like, man, they don't they don't need this. They've got like they already have every sig they could possibly want. I was like, you should save it in case they put our tees back in the game. Unfortunately, um, uh, he used it. So hopefully they don't put our tees back in the game for his sake because I don't think he's got him. Uh, give me the diamond. I don't care. Just just I need a diamond for combos. No. Okay, one. Okay, I got one more at least. That's good. If you give me one more diamond, I'll have one more combo, I believe. Ah, oh, it wasn't even in either spot, man. Yeah, all right, so let's go use our premium skill change tickets on Dell and Batansis. Actually, you know what? We're gonna skip that part. We're gonna use the premium vintages first. Actually, we're gonna use our normal vintages as well. So let's see if we can finally pull a legend this week. Four silvers. Oh, two golds and two silvers. Give me a legend. Please, I'm begging you. Or don't. That's also cool, too. Bruh. What even are legends? The only legend we've gotten in the recent memory has been from the free legend pack that was basically just given to us as compensation. It's been a long time. I thought I had a basic vintage pack. Um, I guess not. I thought I had one. I don't know where he went. Weird. Let's go do a legend a legend combo. Let's go do a vintage combo. Let's see if we can get something interesting. I uh, don't believe I have a silver at least somewhere in here. Yeah, I don't need the Lupinella. I also do not think I need the Richardson either. I don't think I need Richardson. I think I already have Richardson. Uh, let's see... Team, yeah, I already have a Richardson. I don't need another one. 
I have one saved in backup. So we're going to get rid of this Richardson because it's just, you know, bad luck. I don't need him. No thanks. We're probably going to save this card in case I need to bench piece at some point. So that way, you know, it's a, it's a non-dupe. I'm okay with having either one of these two cards, Hicks or Richardson. I probably want Richardson in case they finally come out with that. I'm still sitting here waiting for this, um, the return of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, um, the exclusive SIG packs. I, I feel like they're going to come out with one eventually. I'm just waiting here, so I kind of want to keep the dupes, but, uh, just for the, the time being, we will probably want to get rid of one of these. Oh, perfect. I actually need another gold. Maybe I'll get a silver, I'll get a diamond out of this. Diamond. No. Diamond? No. Also not a legend either. Man. They need to increase the rate for these legend cards. These legend cards are ridiculously rare for for no reason. They are extremely rare. Uh, so we need one more, one more diamond vintage and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so I'm going to save the Ruth in case I just want a little bench piece. So I've got another gold in Larkin. And then I got the gold in the Rogers. And then, okay, the next week we'll have two golds ready to go. Let's go change Batansis' skills over. And let's go run 10 on him real quick. It's, it's a shame. I wish his levels were higher, but there is just nothing we can do. Okay, so we've got 10, uh, 10 premium skill changes. Like I said, 5 from the surprise sale. If you bought the package, all 5 packages last week... You can now uh, get five more from the surprise sale. So that's what we did. Wouldn't mind, wouldn't mind a legend with a triple three. I think it's like, what, one in 27 for that? Because it's uh, three, three to the third power. The odds of getting a, a, a level three skill to begin with is one in three. So you take the three to the third power, so it's one in twenty-seven to get triple threes. BPD again, awful numbers though. Like you know, it's even worse. But I, I'm gonna hold on to bullpen day for now because that's like the best thing you can get on a relief pitcher. But I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a no thank you. Control master, fearless. Oh man. So that's four, seven. Okay, I'm going to keep that because it's bottom three, and we'll hold on to that, and then we have another greens target. Man, it's a shame that I got bullpen day on him, and then I just, like, there's nothing I can do about it. Because the bullpen day is, like, nuts on a relief pitcher, but just the simple fact that the legend, the numbers were so terrible that it's not even worth it. Again, similar fate. Like, I couldn't even max, like, two of the skills, let alone two of I couldn't even max two of them, let alone have the bottom one three. Okay, so we're going to go to Gray, and we're going to see if we can roll a Legend skill on him. Crazy luck with the Legend skills right now. All of a sudden, just crazy numbers. Um, got the, In five PSCTs, we got, what, two Legend skills? Crazy. Craziness. All right, so looking for, like, Fireballer on him. Uh, I'll do Fireballer. I'll do... Like, Control Master with high numbers. I think that would be pretty cool. I'm only doing great because he's basically, like, my worst pitcher right now in terms of the fact that he just, um... That's pretty, but it's not useful. I think he had, like, a 1.7 or a 1.8 ERA last week. And so I kind of want to see if we can get him a Legend skill. I love the fact he's triple blue, but just not ideal right now. He gets, like, absolutely shredded by boss nerf because he's, like... Boss mess. All right, that's going to be it for that for today. And then we'll see. We're going to run some uh, normal SATs on Tino again. So, fantastic. I love that. That's great. Actually made some good progress today. Got ourselves our closer with Control Master. Two, three, and one. So, that means Control Master six. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay. I'm just double checking my math because last week I just completely forgot how math worked, and then I'm just a fool. So that's all good. And that's all good to go. Let's see if we can get Tino some skills finally. At some point, I'm gonna stop going for Tino, and I'm just gonna start using him on like bullpen pieces in the meantime, just in the short term. 
just to try to see if I can get some better skills on people in the short term. But uh, I'm just I'm still hoping that we're going to finally hit one day on Dino. One of these days, we're going to hit triple threes. Nope, almost. I saw two threes, and I'm like, yo, here we go. Triple poop. Charisma. Nope, I do not need flashing leather on a first baseman. I feel like we've sunk maybe 300 plus skill changes into Tino, and they just will not give me three solid skills on him. At some point, I'm going to sell because he's just my nine batter, but he does halfway decently, so I mean, I guess it's okay. Charisma MBT. Laser beam. Loves giving me that laser beam. Oh god. Oh god. I can't see. I don't know what happened. I like accidentally clicked on the screen and then uh, couldn't see what my skill change was going to be. Spotlight. I'm also kind of in a in a tough spot here due to the fact that he basically there's my one in twenty seven. I'm I'm in a tough spot here because the fact he doesn't hit BIU, so I mean it kind of it's kind of tough that I'm kind of. I guess BIU is gonna get the gonna get shorted in, in a situation if I get BIU because there's no chance in like he's never gonna hit BIU with 88 speed. It's just not gonna happen. Red car, okay, that's like two thirds of a skill set. Like I said, at some point I'm probably just gonna settle and I'm just gonna be like, I'm good, I'm done. <laughs> like exhaustion, some other stuff, and just be like, no, nope, I'm good. Man, these are even worse. I haven't even seen anything like halfway decent. It's been like 35 sad skill changes. Spot. Man, at some point I have to just say that's good enough, right? At some point I just have to say that's good enough. I don't think I'm there yet. Uh, someone in the last video was also commented saying the fact that um, they changed the the name from Legend because of the fact that there's now Legend skills. So that's why they changed it to Legend. So I, I remember asking that question last video, and I appreciate the answer. Thank you for informing me. That actually makes a lot of sense. I just, um, when you say it, it makes a lot of sense. I just forgot about it. But that makes a lot of sense. You're right. All right, so that's going to be it for me for today, you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Hopefully we get some blues and greens very soon so that way we can actually... Um, get some results on Mantle and on Batansis, and hopefully our Legend skill target next week will potentially be some good news for our new Black Diamond player, which is either going to be Batans, uh, Miller, or Britain. I'm probably thinking, I'm thinking Britain, but I don't know yet. We'll we'll decide when that we'll we'll figure out when we decide to cross that bridge. But anyway, that being said, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Appreciate you guys watching the video. Thank you guys very much, by the way, for 3,000 subscribers. I want to take a moment here and just say thank you guys. Like, I didn't think that I'd ever have 3,000 subscribers. I didn't think I'd even have 1,000 subscribers, let alone three. I mean, like, this is insanity. Like, I've never expected this from any anything I've done. I mean, the support you guys give me every video is incredible. You guys love coming here to watch my content. And, I mean, I'm so grateful for everything you guys have done. Um... And hopefully we'll we'll keep growing, and hopefully we'll continue pushing these videos out. Hopefully one day we'll be in the power ranking tournament. Although I'm not gonna hold my breath on that one, but uh, I just want to make the best videos for you guys. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me for all this time. We've been making videos for a long time now, and um, I'm just so thankful for every every video when I make. I love how you guys show up and you all support my content. So I want to say thank you guys because I wouldn't be here. Unless you guys came here every video to say hello and say what's up. And just, I'm so happy. That I Like, I can't even begin to describe it. So, I, I think I've drawn on long enough. I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. And hopefully, we'll be here again very soon with 4,000 subscribers. But, with that being said, I hope you guys have a good one. Thank you again. If you guys want to see more of my content, I make a video every Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So, with that being said, good luck with your polls. We'll be back next week with the Team Select Club Craft, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.